Welcome to the channel and welcome to another 40k face-off that sees our brave and lonely Redemptor Dreadnought take on some Tyranids. In this case, 12 Gene Stealers. This is the second one that we're doing with the uh, Redemptor. Check out the other one if you haven't. And this time I'm putting them against some Gene Stealers. Why are you going that way? Go that way. Thank you. Gene Stealers, very fast, very hitty. They get to advance and charge in the same turn. And I think most significantly, they have a 5-up invulnerable save. I really feel like having a 6 or a 5-up as Tyranids and having no invulnerable is a real pain to be honest. So I think five up invulnerables and that is for their, you know, athleticism or whatever it's called. Lightning reflexes. That's going to be significant in this. Or at least I hope it is because I'd like to see a bit more of a fair fight. So just going through what both have, uh, we've got the Redemptor Dreadnought here, and the Redemptor has two Fragstorm Grenade Launchers, that's like no AP blast weapon. It's got a heavy flamer with an 8 inch range, it does heavy D6 hits that automatically hit. The main uh, star of the show is the heavy Gatling Onslaught Cannon, which is this big bad boy here. That's got AP, that's got 12 shots a turn, yeah it's pretty, pretty savage. And then we've got the Redemptor Fist, which I'll put in focus there. And that gives twice the strength. It's already got seven, so 14 strength with that. Pyah, big punches. AP minus three and does D6 damage for everything that gets through. If it dies, it explodes. If it's charged or makes a charge, it gets an extra attack. I think you get to add one to wound rolls as well. Some Blood Angels rules there. Yeah, let's go through what these guys have. So these guys move base 8 inches, they hit with their hands on a 3 up, so pretty good with that, they get 3 attacks each. If there's more than 10 of them left, they get 4 attacks each, so that could be potentially like 40 attacks there with their rending claws rending claws means that each time you make a wound roll a wound roll sorry of six that'll be resolved with an ap of minus four that's potentially huge because the redemptor has a three up save and no invulnerable so yeah they're swift and deadly so they get to advance and charge in the same turn meaning that they potentially have a move of eight base base move plus six inches is what that's 14 inches, plus they could charge another 12, so what's that? They could move like 28, 26 inches in a turn? That's absolutely ridiculous, that's nearly the whole battlefield here. Something I will mention, because uh, if I don't, others will, um, you know, this is not necessarily how you would use gene stealers, charging them at a gun turret who's designed to basically take out infantry. Uh, yeah, this is just a bit of fun, a 40k face-off. You know, don't, don't try this at home or if you're trying to win a tournament or something. This might not be the best way to use your Gene Stealers. But let's see what happens. Something else, the because uh, the Gene Stealers have an infestation node, they're not going to get it here. They are just going to be on the battlefield and running towards the, the this guy. So, yeah, I think that we're going to go ahead. And honestly, I think we're just going to give the Gene Stealers the first turn. Actually, no. Do you know what it is? We, don't, we always roll off to see who goes first. So let's get them in position and then roll off. Out on patrol, the Tyranid Bane sees off in the distance some scuttling. And these guys say, let us scuttle. So let's roll off for turn one. We've got small unit, big dice. Big unit, small dice. Roll off. Let's see who goes first. And it's the Blood Angels. Uh-oh. So he's going to move his 8-inch uh, move up just to try and get more weapons in range. And uh, people seem to like the click move last time, so here we go. <laughs> and it's done. Cool, let's get that out of the way. Uh, so he's not, he can't psycho, so he's going to see what he can shoot with. So we're looking at heavy 12 shots. I've got 12 dice, and he would normally hit on 3. Sorry, this was the heavy Gatling Onslaught Cannon. This is an absolute beast of a gun, by the way, if anyone doesn't know. And uh, it's going to hit on 4s because minus 1, it's a heavy, and he isn't a land raider. You're not a land raider yet, young man. Cool, so let's go. 4s. Uh, lots of them, I think. Oh, maybe not. So actually only four of them, which is, uh, I'm sorry, five of them. So it's a strength five weapon against toughness four, so we're only on threes. Uh, only t three of them. So now, in order to not die with, uh, you know, three of them dying, so we get the, what's it called? Lightning reflex save of five or six for the gene stealers. None of them, so three are dead. Uh oh, you guys with a different color scheme can go. So, uh, nothing else is in range, actually. The Fragstorm has a 18-inch uh, range, so what's that, 12? Yeah, it's not in range. Um, so, now we're going to move on to the Gene Stealers. Turn 1. 
Gene Steelers are going to attack to, uh, sorry, what's it called? Advance to, to try and close the distance. So um, when they're home against friends, try to do this last time. They got a one. Let's see what the Gene Steelers get. Eight plus. Now we're talking five. So that's a 13 inch move. Uh, what's that? So that's a 12 inch stick. So they all get to about there. So let's get them moved. Cool. They're done. So now, guess what? We're going to try and charge with the Gene Stealers. And honestly, I kind of hope they get in. So with the stick, it looks like... Oops, I just budged them a bit. I reckon a six will get us in. Yeah, seven definitely will. Let's see how they do. So what do we want? We want a, basically more than a seven on this. Seven. They're in. They are in. And hey, let's not waste the opportunity. There we go. They are in. And so now we're going to move on to the Gene Stealers hitting the um, the Dreadnought here. Let's get some pilot and end done. Beep. So yeah, how many attacks? There's nine of them left. It's a shame it's not ten, or they get four attacks each. So nine times three is what? I think that's 27. Uh, so yeah, 27 attacks. They're going to be hitting on threes. Good job. I've got lots of dice. So here we go. Threes to hit. Cool. So uh, 17 of them hit. Which is absolutely staggering. Uh, we're going to need fives to wound now. And any sixes will have a minus four AP. So we'll be straight wounds. Ooh. Cool. So we got six uh, minus four APs. And we have two normal ones. They have a minus one AP. So now some saving throws for the Redemptor. It's got a three up normally. So these will be four up saves. Uh, one pass, one fail. Okay, so that's one wound off. And then these all have a four, minus four AP, so it doesn't get a save. So, in the first round of combat for the Gene Stealers, we've got four wounds off the Redemptor. It starts on 13, and so it's down to nine wounds. Quite significantly, this doesn't take it down to its uh, next level of like lower, you know, weakness or whatever characteristics. So yeah, nine wounds left. We now move on to the Redemptor hitting back. So Redemptor Dreadnought gets four attacks and it hits on uh, threes. So here we go. Let's hit on threes. Or oh, two of them. Cool. And uh, because he's just got mad strength and they've got toughness, what, like four, I think. Wounding on twos. Both succeeded. They both do a lot of wounds to each gene stealer, but they've only got one each. Um, so basically, lightning reflexes now. We've got saves of five or sixes. I'm going to do it on purple dice just to stay on brand for the gene stealers. Five or six. <laughs> Should have just used the white dice. And with that, um, two more gene stealers are a splat. So yeah, I'm kind of glad the, the gene stealers made a dent this turn, uh, but we're going to go on to turn two for the space marines. And the space marine is now going to get to shoot because it's a vehicle. And in ninth edition, vehicles can shoot when they're in combat. So we're looking at 12 shots. They're going to be hitting on fours because you get a minus one modifier when you're in combat, I believe. So here we go. Hitting on fours with the assault Gatling cannon. There you go, so three of them hit. Uh, wounding on threes. Not the best round of shooting this, to be honest. Now, lightning reflexes on five or six. No, wow, that that invulnerable really isn't helping the gene stealers, to be honest. Two of them, more of them are. Rightly told uh, in the last video, the blast weapons can't shoot when you are in uh, close combat, so it's not going to be able to shoot its Fragstrom grenade launcher. It is, however, going to be able to shoot its uh, heavy flamer. So, D6 shots, that auto hit. Six, ouch. Strength five, toughness four, some potentially singed gene stealers here. So, I'm um, going to be wounding on threes. Yeah, all but one. Oh no, how many's left? There's six, five left. <gasps> These need to be five or sixes. Come on, five or sixes. Um, none of them. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Flame. Flame wins the day. And the uh, Redemptor, on oh, nine wounds, uh, has won this face-off. Do you know what it is? I've done this before with face-offs that end quite quickly. I'm actually going to run it again, I think, but have the Gene Stealers closer. So, back to number one positions, boys. Let's run it again. So, uh, welcome to Peace Time Painting, yada, 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 40k face-offs, round two, let's go. Oh, look. These roll-offs seem to uh, 
Two minutes first. Let's go. Oh, advance. Watch it be a one. Wee! That'll get us there. So, five plus eight, 13. Cool. Click the fingers, because uh, give the people what they want. There we go. They've moved up. Uh, they haven't actually moved up all the distance that they could go, because uh, I'm going to charge. So now, let's have a charge. You charge. Let's use these two random little dice. Yeah, we're getting in. We're getting in. There we go. Everyone's in. And now the Gene Stealers get to attack. There's more than 10 of them <clears throat> this time. So they're going to get four attacks each. So we're looking at what? 48 attacks. 48 attacks. Honestly, I'm so glad I bought these dice. So many dice. I'm actually having to stand up to roll this. So here we go. 48 attacks with the Gene Stealers hitting on threes. Let's go. What have we got? Hmm. I just want to point out there's so many dice that we got a six that landed on top of another dice. What did the other dice do? That's a four. That's a hit. Cool. That is all the hits. And honestly, that's so many. These are going to be wounding on fives with sixes being straight wounds. So let's count them and roll them. 33 wound rolls now. We're looking for fives. Okay. Just count the sixes first. I've started here. One, two three and these are minus four ap a um, nine any more i think that's it so that's all the minus four ap hits and the other fives are save throws so there's only four of them actually uh, it's a minus one ap so oops save throws now uh we're looking for fours and uh, two of them have failed so just to have a look now at what the um wound situation looks like in combat there, uh, these were all Rending Claw 6s, so basically 11 wounds off <laughs> the Dreadnought in the first round of combat with the Gene Stealers. The Redemptor starts on 13, and so it's down to 2 wounds. That takes it on to its last lease of life, number of attacks and things, I think. So let's see what that looks like. Now it's the uh, Redemptor Dreadnought's chance to hit back. So it just gets a flat four attacks still, but it becomes worse at hitting them. So it used to be hitting on threes. Now we're hitting on fives. And one of them does. So it's still mad strong. Uh, it's going to be wounding on twos. Wounds. And now the uh, lightning reflexes of the Gene Stealers. Let's see if we can keep one alive. Five or a six. And it jumps out of the way. So now, two wounds left. The uh, We're still on the Space Moon's turn one, aren't we? Uh, now it gets a chance to use its heavy Gatling cannon and its uh, heavy flamer. So we still get the 12 shots with the heavy Gatling cannon. Could potentially still do a bit of damage. Let's angle it down just so that we can see what's really happening there. Um, so it's hitting on fives because it's got two wounds left, but you get a minus one because you're in combat. So hitting on sixes here. And we got a couple. That's kind of okay. So wounding on threes. What? Uh-oh. So with the heavy flamer now, we're going to have D6 shots, which auto hit. Two. Uh, it's kind of a shame it's not more, really. The strength of that weapon is five against toughness four. So we're looking at threes to wound. Okay, cool. They both wounded. So now on a five or a six, we have some living uh, gene stealers. Anything other than that, we're dead. One dead. That's the first one this round. Um, and who should we get rid of? One of these guys isn't exactly painted right. So that was shooting. Uh, and now it's the Space Marine's turn to hit back. However, this is ninth edition. So the player whose turn it isn't, that's the gene stealers, gets to hit first. It's only got two wounds left. What is going to happen? So, because there's still more than 10 of them, these are getting four attacks each. There's 11 of them. So 11 times four is 44 attacks. Time to get the dice out. This is what 44 dice look like, and we're going to be hitting on threes. So, let's see how we do. Threes. <laughs> so many dice again. We've got dice on dice. Let's just re-roll that properly. That's a three. Cool. Let's count how many we've got. So, of those 44 attacks... I think it's 32 of them actually got through. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be wounding on fives here. And any sixes are straight wounds because he won't get a save because it's minus four AP. So let's have a roll of these and see what happens. So we're needing fives. <laughs> Uh-oh, not looking good. How many sixes do we get? We've got one. These are straight wounds. One, oops, two, three, four, five... 
Whoops, there was six there, I think. Six, seven, yeah. So we've actually got, what, six saves to make? Or is it seven? Yeah, seven saves to make. Uh, minus one AP, so that's a four up. And one, two, three failed. So that round of combat, we've got 11 wounds. I think it's, again, 11 wounds off the Redemptor Dreadnought, who is on two. So he's on minus nine wounds. He's dead. He's basically dead. Let's see if he explodes. So on a six, it explodes with a D6 uh, mortal wounds off units in six inches. It's a game of sixes. So uh, let's roll it. It could potentially take six of these out. It's not going to take all of them. But uh, let's go. Let's see what we get. So on a six. And it doesn't explode. So um, that was an absolute steamroll by the Gene Stealers, to be honest. They got into combat first. He only got one round of impeded shooting off at them. And yeah, it basically seems kind of context heavy how this face off would go. If you can get your Gene Stealers in without getting shot, they'll, they'll basically absolutely mangle that thing to pieces if they get the hit first, which isn't a huge surprise, I suppose. Um, but again, it's just kind of down to the dice and what the dice want to give you. I'm kind of tempted at this stage, should I do a decider? Best of three. I've done that with other ones where it kind of steamrolls one way or the other. So I think that's what we'll do, actually. I'm going to go ahead and reset. Maybe with a, a halfway distance between that, we'll roll off and we'll see what happens and we'll do another one. Okay, here we go. Round three, the decider. Welcome to 4K Faceoffs, yada, yada, yada. Uh, here we go. So I've moved them up a bit here. I've moved him up a bit there. So basically they get an eight inch move and then what? If they advance their average is what? Three and a half inches, which takes them to there. That gives them an average of seven to charge. So yeah, I mean, it's like if they get average dice rolling, they're getting in, but you know, it could they could get better than that. They could not get better than that. So let's see what happens in this 40K face off. We're gonna roll off for this decider and we are going to see who goes first. Ooh, it's only just the nids. I tell you what, we'll see how this goes there. So, we're going to advance. Uh, so, 8 plus 1. Okay, okay, interesting. So, they're going to get to move 9 inches. That's pretty much up to the uh, purple dice there. So, there we go. So, now I think we're going to declare a charge. Here we are on the decider. It's getting pretty meaty straight away. Uh, they actually need a... Because that was such a low advance roll. Wow. They need to get... An 11? Yeah, they need to get an... Oh, let's have a little... Let's do this, really. Mm, maybe a 10, you know. Okay, we'll say a 10. So on a 10 or more, these guys are going to get into combat. So, charging in. They got an 11. They just got into combat again. <laughs> so yeah, this decider. Honestly, the... Um, the, the gene stealers are basically in there. We're going to, you know, follow up... Or what's it called? Pile in. And, uh, yeah, basically everyone's going to get the hit, I think. So this could, <laughs> again, be over quickly. What the, did they do? Like, 11 wounds of damage each time. Each round of combat on the uh, Redemptor. So, yeah, let's go ahead and make, what was it, 48 attack. Again, an absolute mind-watering, eye-watering, sorry, uh, number of attacks here. 48 attacks hitting on threes. This When there's this many dice, it just becomes, like, white noise. Like, here we go, hitting on threes. Okay, shall I do the click? And with that, we have lots of attacks here, like an insane amount. That was 29 hits. I'm struck. They're bursting out my hand. Right, so we oh, oh no. Right, we need fives to wound. Sixes are direct wounds. Okay. So a bit less one-sided this first round of combat here. We need to make three saves here. These are four ups for the Redemptor. Uh, two made. One not made, uh, and so that is five. Seven wounds off the Redemptor. Redemptor starts on 13, and so it's left on six wounds. So yeah, we'll put that little uh, red Blood Angels dice there. And we're on to the, the Redemptor's round of combat now. When it's down to six wounds, it is down to its second level of characteristics. So it's hitting on fours now. So these are hitting on fours. Uh, three of them pass. We're going to be wounding on twos. All of them do. Five or sixes for the uh, dodging out the way gene stealers. Uh, one of them passes. Two of them fail. Let's get them out of there. Splat and splat. Cool. So, 
Yeah, this decider is actually a bit more um, interesting, I think. And with that, we are finished. Uh, that was the Gene Steelers' turn. The Redemptor fought back. Now we move on to the uh, Redemptor Dreadnoughts. Uh, turn one, and it's going to shoot. So it normally hits on threes with a minus one because it's in combat. But now it's down to fours. So we're looking at fives here to shoot with the Monster Gatling Ultra Cannon, whatever it's called. Uh, quite a few of them, actually. Wow, that's good. He's wound on threes. Quite a few of them as well. Now, Gene Steelers need to make their saves of a five or a six to dodge out the way. Um, two more dead. Interesting. There are now eight Gene Steelers left. Now, the Heavy Flamer uh, does D6 shots that auto hit. Ooh, just the one. It wounds on a three. Oh, my lord, it's unlucky. Now, combat. Um, the Gene Steelers basically hit first now, don't they? Because it's not their turn. So, here we go. Let's hit back. They don't get four attacks now because there's only eight of them. So, yeah, they're going to get three attacks each. Three times eight is 24, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do 24 attacks. It's a bit different different to 48, isn't it? So, 24 attacks. These are hitting on threes. Quite a few. So, wow. Out of all those 24 attacks, only four missed. So, 20 hits. Wounding on fives. Six is a straight wound. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Okay, no straight wounds that I can see. Only four wounds got through there. This will be uh, four up saves here for the Redemptor uh, to see if it goes down to two wounds or not. Four ups. Uh, two, three passes, one fail. So it's just down to five wounds, actually. This is actually getting quite interesting now. Redemptor now with its four attacks. Uh, it's going to be hitting on fours. Uh, two of them pass. It's going to be wounding on twos. Both pass, unsurprisingly. Now, lightning reflexes. We've got five or six saves. One pass, one fail. Another splattered gene stealer. So that was the end of turn one. And we've got, what, seven gene stealers left. And we've got the Redemptor on five wounds. So it's actually very close. So now we move on to turn two. And the gene stealers is going to stay there and hit. But because uh, they haven't charged this turn, it's going to be the Redemptor uh, to hit first. So four attacks. Hitting on fours now. Uh, three of them. Wounding on twos. Wow, three of them. These need to be five or sixes to save. Wow, only one dead. Okay, cool. So one dead gene stealer. Um, we've got six left, three attacks each. That's 18 attacks. So 18 attacks. I've got a feeling the Dreadnought could be done for here. We've only got five wounds left. So hitting on threes. Again, of all those, only five missed. We're going to be wounding on fives. Grabby grab. Big grabs. Come on. Wounding on fives. Sixes are straight wounds. Okay. So of all that, only actually six got through with the Rending Claws. Uh, so that's two wounds off the Redemptor. And it's down to its last lease of life. But let's see how it can do. So now we're moving on to the Space Marines' turn. It's going to do some shooting here. Let's see what can happen. It's only down to three wounds, which is interesting. But yeah, let's see how it does. First off, the Gatling Cannon, 12 shots. It's going to be hitting on fives this time. No, it's going to be hitting on sixes this time. 12 shots, hitting on sixes. Let's see how we do. Uh, none of them. Heavy Flamer, D6 auto hits. Six, finally a Heavy Flamer. Wounding on threes. Wow, loads of them. All but one, in fact. So there's how many left? Six left. These need to be five or sixes for the Gene Stealers to survive. One of them survives, four of them die. Really significant, that. One, two, three, four. Gene Stealers dead. Two left with a Redemptor on three wounds in this decider. Because it's the Gene Stealers the 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 term what's it called redemptor's turn it's actually the gene stealers to hit first they get three attacks each so we're looking at six attacks hitting on threes hitting on threes oh look at that so look what we are now five or sixes to wounds sixes do insta wounds oh it's one insta wound and one save so that's down to one wound here we've got the save so on a four up the Terminator is on, the Redemptor is on one wound on a four up. It survives. 
So I think it was, should have been on two wounds, actually. So it's on one wound. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's on two wounds. We'll, we'll, we'll put it on two wounds. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Probably am. No, no winning sometimes. And now it gets its close combat attacks, doesn't it? Yeah, because the Gene Stealers went. Yeah. So now we are looking at Gene Stealers turn three. Close combat. The, uh, t the Dreadnought gets to hit first. Four attacks. Hitting on fives. Wow, good hitting there. Wounding on twos. It wounds. This, in order for the Gene Stealers to survive, these need to be five or sixes. These aren't five or sixes. It's game over. No way, guys. <laughs> Two sixes, uh, and the Gene Stealers survive. Now, the Gene Stealers get to hit back. Two wounds left, three attacks each. Here we go, hitting on threes. Only two of them, wounding on fives, straight wounds on sixes. None of them. And that's actually the end of the Gene Stealer's turn. Now we move on to the Space Marines' turn, and it's going to shoot. Going to just try and flame them, to be honest. Six shots, auto-hitting. Four, that's pretty good. Wounding on threes. Uh, two of them. Uh, and now five or six saves, jumping out the way. These are significant, <laughs> these uh, saves. One pass, one fail. We're down to one Gene Stealer left after that shooting. Now it's going to get 12 shots at it from the heavy onslaught Gatling Cannon. 12 shots hitting on sixes because it's in combat and it's on hardly any wounds. Uh, two? Cool. Wounding on threes. Both wounded. And now our last remaining Gene Stealer needs to roll two five or sixes to avoid being splattered. No, dead. That's it. That's the decider finished. It was really close because honestly, this Redemptor's on two wounds left. Might even be one, I'm not sure. But either way, it was on its last legs. And uh, wow, that was cool. I think uh, the real deciding factor in which way this goes is if Gene Steelers get into combat and they don't get shot, then it's pretty significantly, um, you know, if they just get it down in wounds, then it goes down to its dropped characteristics. And uh, yeah, that's that's that. I hope uh, you've enjoyed watching this um, other 40k face off. If you have done, please hit like and subscribe and things and uh, we'll keep doing them. If there's any units that you'd love to see in some face offs, then don't hesitate to leave a comment saying so. All right, cool. Peacetime painting out. Have a good day wherever you are or evening. See ya.